today is an important day. Hello people. <rire> Hello people, welcome back to my channel. Salut les amis, bienvenue et bon retour sur ma chaîne. Hola, bienvenue dans la Ami Canal. Konnichiwa. What is your channel doni yokus? This is another day and we're getting with a brand new video, which is a little bit different from what I usually do. But given the situation, what I did and throughout my YouTube journey here, I'll share with you what I've got to do when it comes to really be confident on camera. And it wasn't easy for me. It was the whole journey. It took me nine plus years for me to be able to be that confident on camera get to the fast track and the quick way of getting confident being camera shy at the beginning of my journey i was not like that i was not having any type of joke i was literally cringing and stumbling upon my words and my english is not necessarily the best english ever because it's not my first language right so It wasn't easy for me. It wasn't natural for me to even be in front of the camera on top of having to speak English. I'm a big introvert. The social situation, it's not necessarily the thing that I love the most. I'd rather stay at home and do my things instead of having to go out there and talk to people face to face. You can get up in the morning and be like, I'm gonna be confident on camera. It takes a process. And it goes back to who I am and what I do. I'm Lenny Tomo, I'm a psych coach and I'm a content creator and I'm dedicated, passionate about helping creative soul women entrepreneur just like you who are watching at the moment be confident amplify your presence in video by using your personal style as your best asset it's about you feeling confident because you have that gift you have that purpose and i know you can make it especially given the current crisis you have something to bring to this world so let's not waste years let's just do it the thing that i gotta say if you want to start to be confident on videos and potentially start a YouTube channel is to start with the smaller platforms. You have Instagram, you have IGTV and you have Insta Stories. Back then I did not have all of that. <laughs> Back then I just had YouTube as the only option for me to create videos and show up on videos. So now that you have that opportunity, now that you have that chance to be able to really just hit on the Insta Stories and have a few seconds of showing up your face on videos, take advantage of it because at the end of the day, the more you're gonna do it, the more you're gonna feel Feel comfortable doing it. On YouTube it takes a lot more. You have to shoot, you have to edit, and then you have to promote and share. And that's something that I show and learn and guide women to do in my Soul Inside branding alignment program. And all the details are going to be down below, of course. But what I could say here is that you got to start with the smaller platform. IGTV nowadays is amazing if you don't want to have to be like, oh, I need to buy a fancy camera or I need to buy a professional camera. You just can't start with your phone. As simple as that. And if you're really not sure about it, start recording videos for yourself. For things you like talking about, it could be a step-by-step -step process here for you to not have to get to the YouTube channel from the get-go. And then having a couple of seconds where you can show your cats. Have a lot of video of cats and start showing video of your cats, your dog, whatever. Things like that. I think Insta Story is pretty interesting because you have a couple of seconds. If you don't like it, think about it. It's gonna disappear after 24 hours. YouTube videos, you have the possibility to delete them or hide them or keep them private. And I have a couple of tools and applications that I use to make IGTV videos and then to be able to repurpose it without having to do multiple videos that would take me hours and hours and hours. I can repurpose the content from YouTube to IGTV and then to Insta Story. It takes a schedule, it takes a plan, and all of that. I help you with that in my soul and style branding alignment. The no. second thing is to use your Joker card. I love my concept, and anything to grow your confidence goes through the personal side, especially for women, and especially if you're creative like me. So, your Joker card is gonna be a piece that you're gonna pick from an emotional standpoint. It's not necessarily the piece that's gonna be the most trendy thing ever because you want to feel good your thought create the emotion and that emotional part is gonna be able to help you get to the action part of it whatever you choose to feel inside is gonna be what's gonna brings you to take action on it it's gonna be a piece it's gonna be a clothing it's gonna be something that you like when you're just emotionally connected to and that you're gonna be able to choose and to pick for any video that you want to have the more you're gonna do it the more you're gonna have a nice great Great association with being on video and feeling good and that's all the emotional and psychological part of it the more you're gonna feel good in front of the camera the more you're gonna like it and the more you're gonna do it more choose a piece based on what you want to feel being in front of the camera just by the idea of it you're gonna feel scared 
insecure, do you feel shy, you don't like your body, you don't like your face, you don't like your smile, pick a piece you know, you don't feel confident, but you're gonna choose the emotion that you want to have. Which leads me to plan your outfit in a strategic way. And I did a video on that where you can get to plan your outfit based on your menstrual cycle. Got that great hack from uh, one of China Culture episodes, how to boost your productivity, and it was Kate Northrop that actually was the guest and she talked about the productivity and how you can use your menstrual cycle in a way to take advantage of. We get to have uh, any type of hormonal changes four times a month. Now one of the cycle that is the most important for you to get creative at is gonna be called the fully clear phase. And it's the week after your period where you get to feel creative. Ideas that come at you like bullet. Get into that creative space. When you get to that place it's super and it's a great time for you to play the outfits for the videos. Which leads me to the content. Whatever you gotta say on camera, whatever the niche you're in, you got to have a plan on the content you're gonna have to talk about. Another menstrual cycle called the linear phase which is the PMS phase where you get to be good at writing, good with the words, which leads me to have a structure in your content, in whatever you're gonna see in front of the camera. You need to have at least outlines, you need to have bullet points, and that's super important, especially at the beginning, where you feel super self-conscious, you're not good in front of the camera, you don't feel comfortable in front of the camera, you need to have the words somewhere, you need to have a paper somewhere next to you to be able to read it as much as you can every single time that you're not sure about something that you want to say. When being on YouTube, you have the possibility to edit out any type of bad parts. You can have the full script. There is not a problem here. Personally, I don't like to go with full script. Back then when I used to do presentation, the oral presentation at university and in high school, every single time that I had a full script, it didn't feel natural. It didn't sound natural because I was stuck into the paper writing it because I was so scared. I was like, if I leave it next to me, I'm gonna forget about everything. So I'd rather kind of keep the paper. I wouldn't keep the paper like literally in front of my face, but I would always keep it in a way where I could read it and it wouldn't sound natural. Because at the end of the day, people that looking and watching your videos, they need to feel connected to you. They need to feel like you're talking to them, just like you would have a nice chat with your girlfriend or your friend. Again, it depends on each other personality here. Having to have bullet points is much more important for me because I really want to keep it natural. And that gets me to be natural. All of those little tweets or little things about you, you hate about you, might be the things that people are gonna be drawn to. I don't personally feel that you should need to be super professional looking or any type of uh, super serious type of thing in order to talk about something serious or in order to talk about something important. What you got to do here is to think about your personality, write it down, what is special about you. YouTube is super competitive right now, so the more you're gonna be you, the more you're gonna be truthful to yourself, the more people are gonna be able to connect with you in a lot more deeper level. Those that actually don't connect with you are not your people, which is all fine, but think about your personality. I'm a goofy person in real life. I love to have my dry jokes sometimes. I love all of that and that makes me be me. Which leads me to my other hack, which is look up people you admire the most. They have something you probably like a lot and a ton and that you want to emulate yourself. Either you're not even aware of that, either you're already doing it and have a similar personality to you. People that I look up the most, Marie Folio and Lauren Messia. I adore and love for different reasons. Lauren Messia is a personal stylist and she has that kind of dry joke type of personality and she could have a lot of uh, sarcastic jokes, <laughs> we're just gonna say it like that, and she's straight to the bullet, super true to herself. Marie Folio, I love her because again, she's super bright, she's super fun, and she talks about things that are super serious, the business, the purpose, the mindset, the confidence, she talks about all of that. She talks about the money in such a fun part without having to be way too serious about it. She has that criticism about her and that makes her be her. I love her for that, on top of being super stylish, I gotta say, I gotta say. Do something that makes you feel good before being on camera, or create a 
roots in before being on camera because that's gonna make it familiar to you that's gonna make it safe for you to be on camera instead of just jumping into the video straight on if you don't feel confident on camera you're gonna overthink about it stumble upon your words and you're not gonna be able to connect with the people watching your video the best way you can do that is to shake your body like filming in movement even before being on camera get to the chemical aspect part of it because when you get into the movement when you shake your body it reacts a certain way through your brain a dance party could sing in your apartment and nobody is gonna judge you for it you can dance around you can walk around you can jump you can do a ton of different things before being on camera but make it a routine for you brighter and higher mood having to plan your outfits having to do the makeup having to do all of that it's not just for the aesthetic part of it it's just for you to feel good because when you're gonna talk to people you're gonna feel the energy before even hearing what you have to say and the last thing I would say is to have patience people have the patience when you start your business Business, you can't start your business being great at it you're gonna fail you're gonna cry you're gonna want to give up every single time that you try to do something because you get out of your comfort zone that makes it even better when you get good at it when you get great at it when you get confident in doing it sorry it's not any different from anybody else starting youtube channel here it takes a lot of courage but it takes a choice it takes a decision and it takes you to start doing it no matter what's gonna happen next that's all it takes so have the patience practice 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 of passion if you do it because you know you want to make an impact in this world that shouldn't stop you where does that leave me now having to have amazing opportunities on this platform because think about starting it because you know you can make a difference in this world especially right now create a place and hall space for people in need the personal side the confidence showing up on videos with authenticity with a lot of intention that's what i teach you in the soul and style branding alignment in a weird in a goofy way in a beautiful way in any type of way shape or form that you want you're gonna be able to serve people using youtube channel using igtv using answer stories for that i use the videos all the time i hope it helped you i hope you adore this video showing up on videos with authenticity with style with confidence ask them below and I'll do a video on it moving forward on this channel because there's gonna be a mix of styling there's gonna mix of confidence and mix of video in between and I choose to see whatever happens right now in the world as an opportunity for all of us to get through with ourselves to get through to our purposes momentum where we see a big momentum happening right now because after the crisis there's still gonna be life happening people are gonna need you more and more especially on videos if we get to not meet people anymore for a while i need to have a free discovery call with me until then i'm gonna wish you a happy week a great week and of course always 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 be safe and keep smiling because it's free and contagious in a good way bye